Sunday morning. I'm heading out on behind the rocks. I'm gonna go down below. Uh, I think this is Wipeout Hill. No, White Knuckle Hill. White Knuckle Hill. Down below White Knuckle Hill. Sorry. Anyway, we're heading out here. Uh, my we, I mean me and Trailmater. We're gonna go get a side by side. I don't have the trailer behind me. Um, it's a big giant four-seater razor on portals so it wouldn't really fit on the trailer so I'm just gonna go out here and grab it I'll carry it back down here to the main road they can come and get it with their trailer it is very chilly and I would almost rather be driving blue but Blue is in the shop right now. It's not in the shop getting work done. It's in the shop being hidden. By the time this comes out, you guys will know why. <laughs> but uh, two days before we leave for the off-road games. So the next couple weeks are gonna be busy. So I didn't want to call the guys in on this. So I'll just go out and get it. White Knuckle Hill. So we're gonna we're gonna drop down right here with the truck, and then here's the winch point. But they just Moab Trails Committee just came out here and chiseled in. They jackhammered this in right here. This is a bypass. This is White Knuckle Hill. And so if you're struggling to get up this, people have been going around here and damaging that whole hillside, running trees over. They just think there's, there's no other option but to go this way because the map says to go this way. But you can go along this road and it winds all the way around over there and goes up to the plateau and ties into the county road over there. But a lot of people think this is, which it is a trail. And so the, the idea is to make this bypass so that people can get up here. But it's still a challenge, but it's less of a challenge than this. So anyway, we're going to drop down this because reasons. It never looks bad on camera, but here, yeah, that is a wall. I've dropped it in a buggy, but I don't think I'd want to do it in the truck. So we're going to do right here. And first and foremost, let's lock in the hubs. All right. Here we go.
There it is, White Knuckle Hill. Like I said, I know it doesn't look like much on the camera. It never does. So according to our map, it says we are a mile away. So we just gotta mosey down this road a little bit. And we will find it. All right, looks like we've got a snapped A-arm here, and pulled out the axle shaft. All right, we've got it rigged up. Think we're gonna be all right. Coming straight down. I hooked it to this side of the flat link to hold that away from there. So, should be all good. That's what I like about these. I really like these because they have the multiple options for the holes and you can jump all around in different places. You can rig it two hoops down. Like, I, I love those things. They work really well. Anyway, we we're going to get up this ledge and get going out of here.
to pick lines for not just the truck but also the rig behind you and if you cut too close cut too wide like sometimes you got to put the truck somewhere you don't want it right back there I had to the rear diff had to hit that rock I didn't want it to hit the rock but if I would have moved the truck over then the side-by-side -side wouldn't have been in line with where I needed its tires to climb that rock so the rear diff hit and then I back up and kind of gave it a little huck to get the rear differential over that rock because I needed it to stay on that line. Just all the fun little things I've learned from years of doing this. <laughs>
recovery on Sunday, and I'm watching my favorite YouTubers. Some of my favorite YouTubers build their own little mini wrecker. Super cool watching the Pack Brothers build this truck. I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to see it.